All right, these are pictures inside of the old Crawfordsville Mall. This is the remains that are still visible to this very day. Now basically what you're looking at, this I believe is Shoe Sensation. If you went through the back doors of Shoe Sensation, this is what you would see. And way down here would be the old J.C. Penney entrance into the old mall. Now from this direction, these doors would go into the old goodies, which is now closed down, and I think it's a Gordman's now. And over to your left, we can see this looks like the original bricks that were on the walls of the old Crawfordsville Mall. Now on the floors, we can see that they put some kind of concrete. I don't know if they took bricks out of the floor and then poured concrete. Now I have talked to people about this Crawfordsville Mall. In fact, I called the city building last year asking if there was any pictures of it. And unfortunately, the library, the city building, no one has pictures or video that we know of of the old Crawfordsville Mall. Now in this picture, we can see where there's concrete in the floor, and it is possible that bricks used to be here during the mall era. Now this angle here, this would be looking east, and this is the bowling alley behind this wall. And over here is the large bay door where the trucks come in maybe once a week with some kind of pallet jack to remove the compressed cardboard. Now from the outside we can see this is the bowling alley and right over here is the large bay doors and back in the 80's this might have been an entrance into the old mall. Now this picture we can see this was the old J.C. Penney and this was the display window that you would look at if you were inside the mall. So there is definitely still evidence that the mall was here. So looking east, we can see this was the old display window of the J.C. Penney, and this was an entrance and an exit into the old mall. And when we look down at the floor, this is most likely bricks or some kind of design that was in the floor during the mall era and they tore it up and just laid down concrete. So from the outside we can see this is the license branch and this is the double set doors from the inside and this is from the outside. Now somewhere down in this area, what I remember back in the 80's, there used to be like benches where you could sit down and there might have even been a water fountain. I'm not really for sure. But we can see from this picture, this is the cardboard baler inside these doors. And down here would be like the Chinese buffet and shoe sensation and the breakfast company. All these businesses take all their cardboard back into this hallway and run it through this cardboard baler. Now, everyone that I have talked to about the old mall, they seem to have these pleasant memories. They were actually very upset when they transformed the mall into a strip mall. But if you know anyone that actually has pictures or video of the old mall, you need to leave a comment or let someone know, let the newspaper know, because there's a lot of people out there that would love to see those old pictures or video. Now I did talk to someone that remembers the mall in great detail and they sketched out this drawing for me and this is what they remember. Right up here would have been the J.C. Penney's. All the way down here would have been the old Big Lots. On the west corner was the Arcade. This was a beauty salon and then there was a Hooks. And right beside that was a Bank. And then there was a Payless Shoes. And then we have the large walkway in the middle of the mall. And we can see this was an entrance, and this was an entrance, and all the way up here by J.C. Penney was an entrance, and another entrance was on the east side parking lot. And right where the license branch is at, this was a Loeb's clothing store, and another store I think is called Donner's, and there was a hallmark inside of this old mall, and it looks like they had a radio shack, believe it or not, inside this old mall. 
and there was a bookstore right beside the radio shack and on the southeast corner they had a Kroger so this is the layout of the old mall and we believe that it closed down in 1989